Hey there, welcome to Mac the Tech. I am Muhammad, and I'm passionate about business analytics. I've spent years mastering various analytics tools, but the one that always stood out to me is Power BI. Power BI is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you transform your data into valuable insights. With it, you can visualize your data in a way that makes sense and uncover hidden patterns and trends that can help you make informed decisions. On this channel, we'll be diving deep into Power BI. I'll be sharing tips and tricks, walking you through how to use different features and showcasing real world examples of how you can use Power BI and drive business success. I'm excited to share my knowledge with you and help you take your analytics skills to the next level. So if you are ready to unlock the full potential of Power BI, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey. On the computer. Today, we are going to discover one of the important things that are available now, right now, in the preview versions of Power BI. Did you know that Power BI has some of the analytic skills or the AI that can analyze data for you right under your fingertip right now? Let me go to the computer and show it to you immediately. In our example, you can see a bar chart that I have here. If I click on any of the bar charts and I click right click, I see here analyze and you can see in the analyze, find where the distribution is different. And if you click on it, you will see the AI is doing a job that is here are filters that cause the distribution of total sales by color to change the most. And you can see here, the sales people that I have are the most contributing. And you can see how it compares in the colors with each other. So comparing proportions. And if you can select different people, you will see different comparisons. This is kind of important thing because whenever you like a reason, you can like it. You can say this is very nice and you can add it to the visuals that you are working on. For example, if I found that the product families are the most contributing in terms of the issue that I'm facing, I put it here and I analyze it and I can do further analysis on different colors. So analyze, find where the distribution is different here. In the product, I can also analyze and find where the distribution in the products. And you can see here it's saying that the green color and the yellow color, so I can pick whatever color that I want to check in the products. And then we can see where is differences or anomalies that are taking place. And it's not limited to bar charts. If I go, for example, to a line chart, and here, for example, I have a very steep decrease and I want to understand why this decrease is taking place. I right click, analyze, and I say, explain the decrease. These are right of the, out of the box AI measures or AI tools available in Power BI Desktop and you can utilize immediately ASAP. This is amazing. So you can see here, I have the increase, I have the decrease and I have the totals and I have others if they exist. And at the same time, I can see it also not only in a waterfall chart, I can also see it in a bubble chart or scatter chart. If I see a scatter, I can see where the data is scattered. And I can, of course, see the, the bar charts as well as a ribbon chart. Let's go back to the waterfall and see if I can figure something else that I want to look at. So for example, here in the families, I can see there is an increase. There's no, dec there's a huge decrease in family two. So in January, I sold 650. In family one, I had an increase of 200. In family four, I had zero increase or decrease. But in family two, we had a nine, minus 250 until we reached a 600 in February. So here you understand that this is the major contributor in this decrease. At the same time, you can look at increase. So say, for example, I like this one, I add it. So now I have the explanation of the decrease and I can put it here so that I can always see it in front of me and see and I can even create such a such a thing as a tooltip but let's see another one so if I want to analyze the increase in here so explain the increase I go to the increase 
and I want to see it also in the families, not in the people that worked in, or the location, or the product, here is the families. So here you can see. In June, we had 600, an increase from family four that contributed to 400, and a decrease of minus 200 in family one. That is the major thing why this decrease happened. So I can take this also as a snap and put it in terms here. So now I can justify the increase that took place here and justify the decrease that took place here in terms of things. And as you can see, I didn't do anything. I just plugged in the data and I only analyzed it based on increase or decrease. You can see here, for example, I have a steep, almost unbelievable decrease. I can also analyze, explain the decrease. And I want to explain it by product this time in terms of family I need it by product so I go and search for the product this is by color this is by people or salespeople here is by product so as you can see here I had a total of 500 I sold zero of product one but I sold minus 300 of product two and this is the main contributor and I can add here that this is what caused the real problem in the products decrease in here and as you can see now in one chart I have full explanation of everything and at any point in time I can go and see it in full-fledged I can go back also see this in full-fledged you can see this is very important and really gives value to what you are doing in terms of work now you think this is all well, there's a lot of things that you can cover in AI in Power Desktop right now. You can add visuals a lot, but at the same time, they can add also questions and answers. Q&A. Q&A is a tool that is, in my opinion, undervalued because it utilizes AI big time. Q&A is questions and answers as it is, but you can ask real questions at any time and the AI will answer it to you in a chart or in analytic data. What is the sum of travel expenses by country? What is the sum of material cost? What is the total sales sum X by sample data city? If I click on this one, immediately it gives me Ankara, Riyadh, Beirut, Abu Dhabi, Jeddah. And you can see, I didn't do anything. I just asked the question and simply, the AI answered it me. I had nothing to do. Let's say, if I want to see, different way total sales of mac it immediately gives me mac total sales if i want to see mazen and here's mazen ryan not doing anything if i say ryan by region it immediately gives me a, a chart that tells me everything by the region and how his sales is summing up to become. Tons of things you can do in this question and answer. What are the main products sold by Mac? Prod 1, Prod 2, Prod 3. I'm telling you, AI is right there in power bi and it will become much much more powerful as we grow as we inform as we get even better in the future one small update that i want to update you about because it's in may update it took place and now what we should know is that formatting extended beyond the matrix table right now so you can now format things like this one you can go format and you can format by by the field that you want immediately go here change the color and you can do a lot of stuff so formatting format column and you can see it is there same if i want to flip this chart from this to let's say pie chart i can take this pie chart i can format it right from here i can black green so on object interaction is getting better better and better as we move on with the things that we are doing
And you can see here, this is like much more like Excel when you used to work with Excel. So on object interaction also is getting a facelift if you want. Now more visuals are being added to the on object interaction, which is great. That's all for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to give it a thumb up and hit that subscribe button for more Power BI content. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I love hearing from you and I'm always here to help. And don't forget to check out my other videos for more tips and tricks on using Power BI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.